All right, so here we have a true or false question, okay? So even if you don't know the answer to it, you have at least a 50% chance of getting it right. So here we say R and S waves are present in the following lead, okay? So true or false, and that lead that we're looking at here is V4. Now the concepts that you have to get from this are you have to know what R and S waves are from, okay? And remember, they're part of our QRS complex, okay? And the QRS complex, it represents ventricular depolarization, okay? So ventricular uh, depolarization, okay? Remember that the T wave, which would be, so this is our QRS complex, you'll see here, which we'll be looking at, and this is our T wave that represents uh, ventricular repolarization. You can see these small P waves coming here, okay? There's one that's somewhat inverted there, all right? And then here's, again, our QRS complex, and then we have a T wave, another QRS, and a T wave, okay? So when we look at these R and S waves, we're simply focusing on that QRS complex area, okay? So you have to know some basic definitions. Remember that an R wave represents the first positive deflection, okay? After a P wave or of our QRS complex, okay? And then if you have another positive complex that comes after a negative, you may call that an R prime wave. So R wave, okay, the other is the S wave, and the S is the first negative deflection after an R wave, okay? Remember that a Q wave, which we're not asked to find here, is a negative deflection that comes before an R wave. Okay, so those are two things to keep in mind. Those are areas that I struggled with when getting started, but you want to make sure you know the difference because one is actually pathologic, right? If we're looking at old or prior infarcts, we may be looking for these Q waves. Now, the question is not asking for those. It's asking for R and S waves, okay? So these two here. So when we look at these complexes, we see that we have this P wave here, okay? The P wave is followed by a positive deflection. So we said a positive deflection is an R wave, so that's an R wave, all right? And then we have a negative deflection after an R wave, we call that an S wave, okay? So this right here is an S wave, this right here is an R wave, okay? So we do have R and S waves, and if you kind of look at the next one, this is a R wave, this is an S wave, okay? And if you notice that first complex here in the beginning, it looks different from those that follow it, okay? So again, though, you have a P wave, and then you have this positive deflection, which is an R wave, and this is an S wave, okay? Some notching is that portion down there of that S wave, okay? So again, it has to cross that baseline to be called a new wave, all right? All right, so that's what we have here. Now, why isn't there no Q wave? Because if you draw a QRS complex, imagine we have a P wave here, we have a negative deflection, what we'd call this, this would be a P wave. This is a R wave, the first positive deflection. And then we said, there's if there's a negative deflection that comes before the R wave, we call that a Q wave, which is that one here. And then we have a negative deflection after, we call it an S wave. And this upward deflection after is that R prime wave, okay? And then here's that T wave that follows, okay? So we would call that a Q R S R prime complex, okay? Now the simple thing we're looking for here is we have R waves and S waves, again, an R wave followed by an S wave. So these are R and S waves, though so we have these complexes here and we call this true, all right? Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We're the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.